Hi, this is a tutorial on how to use the TI Inspire CX to solve a polynomial equation. You can solve a polynomial equation by either using the scratch pad feature or by opening a new document. Once you've done so, click on the menu button, the algebra menu, polynomial tools, and find roots of a polynomial. The program will ask you what the degree of the polynomial is that you're solving, and it will also ask you if you're looking for real roots or complex. So for example number one here, solve x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0. The degree is 2, and I will be looking for real roots, so I'll hit OK. Now I need to enter the coefficients, which are 1, 1, and negative 6. Once you've entered them, you can click OK or hit Enter, and then hit Enter one more time. So, the calculator has just found that the roots of the polynomial equation x squared plus x minus 6 are x equal to negative 3 and x equal to 2. All right, let's run through this one more time with example number 2. Menu, Algebra, Polynomial Tools, Find Roots of a Polynomial. The degree is still 2, and I'm still solving for real roots. So click OK. Coefficients are 1, 5, and negative 2. Click OK. Hit Enter. And you have your two roots. In this case, they're not nice rational numbers. They contain square roots. Um, but either way, you still get the solutions. All right, let's run through this one last time here with example number three. But before we do that, let's talk about what the solution or solutions for this quadratic equation might look like. We know if we took x squared plus 9 equal to 0 and we subtracted 9 from both sides, we'd have x squared equals negative 9. And if we know taking the square root of a negative number produces an imaginary root or complex, we know that when we go into our settings menu, Algebra, polynomial tools, find roots of polynomial, we're no longer going to be solving for real roots because the square root of negative 9 does not produce a real number. Okay, so I have to switch this over to complex, hit OK, and enter the coefficients. Now notice the coefficient in front of x squared is 1. However, there's no linear term. So since the linear term is missing, we have to enter a 0. And for the constant term, that was a 9. Hit OK, Enter, and you can see the calculator found the two roots, negative 3i and positive 3i. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.